Hey guys, how are you? Sorry about that. Uh, at least I started ahead of time a few minutes because uh, I hadn't streamed in a while. I mean, I knew I was having some issues uh, with Streamlabs before. Um, I am here just outside of Orlando, Florida at the um, One Stop Mouse Homestead um, on the back porch uh, with the neighbor's dog barking and an air conditioning unit going on and a nice comfy rocking chair. Um, it's COVID-19 era now, so although I've been furloughed from my job and I'm not working well and having a good time talking to you, my wife is working at home right now and we don't have a large place, so her work at home place is One Stop Mouse's studio where you see me sitting in front of the backdrop. So. It's a nice day here, actually, in Orlando. It's, uh, I bet it's probably, it's a nice, cool breeze. Um, and probably, I bet here in the shade, it's probably like, like 82 degrees. Very, very nice. Okay, so, um, if you have not subscribed to One Stop Mass, please do me a favor, and please do so. Um, and while you're doing so, please take just a second to hit the little notification bell, the little icon bell that lets you know about impromptu things, especially that come up. Um, initially, we set up One Stop Mouse so that we would at least do one video every Monday evening at 6 o'clock p.m. That kind of came and went and I'm sorry about that and then in its stead we you know I didn't do a video for like three and a half months and now I think I've done this is the third video I've done in three days so it's obviously that has a lot to do with furlough and being at home and time on my hands but it's not just about video and furlough and time on my hands it's also because a lot of stuff is going on not you know, huge, huge things. But when people are really thirsty for information about Disney, anything to tell them when Disney is going to open and give me, give me something, give me some hope for Disney vacation, anything is big. And there's a lot of clickbait information out there that I, I see it all the time too. You know, you go to it, it's like, oh my God, Disney's opening in two days. It's like, uh, no, they're having uh, the Orange County... Economic Development Commission is meeting and they're going to do this in two days and it's never really what it appears to be. So uh, I've seen a lot of things right now, clickbait type stuff that make it sound as if all the Disney theme parks are going to be opening in four days, which of course they're not. Um, in four days, Disney Springs, which is one of the areas of Disney, you've got Animal Kingdom, you've got Magic Kingdom, you've got Epcot, you've got Hollywood Studios. Those are the theme parks that everybody is, you know, used to. And then you have this other experience, which is cool too. Um, and it basically is sort of an, an outdoor shopping, dining club sort of experience. Um, used to be called um, Downtown Disney. And for the last, I think since 2017, it's been called Disney Springs. And uh, the in I, initial idea was it was a place where um, adults could go that wasn't kid-oriented um, and have like a date night during the vacation. Um, but it, it is a really cool area and um, people locally love it too. There are a lot of good restaurants in there. Um, I actually worked in one of those restaurants. The thing that's going on is um, I just made a video about this yesterday. Literally. I posted a video at 3 a.m. today, this morning. Now it's 6 p.m. So, you know, not <laughs> 12, 15 hours ago, I posted a video about what was going to be opening at Disney Springs. Now, um, if we still don't know that, 
If you get on the Disney Springs site right now, and I just got on it a few minutes ago before I started talking to you, um, there's no information about what particular venues are going to open. You can go to the Orlando Sentinel and see what they say, and you can go to one of the vloggers and see what they say. But when you actually go back to the Disney Springs site itself, yesterday or earlier this morning when I did that last video, it, it didn't have some of the stuff I'm going to discuss now, which is procedural stuff, what they're going to do. But um, it did, uh, and it didn't even have which restaurants were going to be open. So if you want to know which restaurants are going to be open, go to uh, the video that I posted earlier today. It's, uh, it basically says what will be open at Disney Springs on the 20th. And um, you can see those restaurants. It's about 10 restaurants. And I would say, you know, I, I basically took various sources of information and came up with a guest list of my own. Jones's guest list that those that has a 50% chance of those um, restaurants opening up. STK, Earl of Sandwich, uh, Joffrey's Coffee, stuff like that. Um, so look there to that video if you want to know what's going to open. But let's just summarize and then we're going to get into the procedures because I know people are thinking, okay, well, shoot, it's Saturday. If I'm going to go to Disney Springs, so I got to bring my own mask. What are they going to do? Each day that goes on, they're going to keep adding stuff, and I might do short live streams to update. Um, so, um, the deal is, hold on one second. In China, they basically opened up uh, an area called Disney Town, which is this outdoor experience shopping dining clubs with the Disney spin just like Disney Springs so they opened that up I think it was over a month ago maybe a month and a half ago they started experimenting with new technology new procedures um, uh, all ty types of social distancing um, things um, and, and Disney Town Shanghai, China, that was where Disney started doing this, okay? And they refined those things over a period of like a month or so. And then they used what they learned there to open up five days ago, Disneyland, Shanghai. And now they've been for the last week um, using those, those things that they've learned and distilling those down and figuring those things out. And now in another week, so about a little bit more than two weeks after they opened Shanghai Disneyland, opening up um, uh, Disney Springs here in Orlando, and then they're gonna distill and refine those procedures and see also there's a cultural thing. You know, um, it seems, at least according to Bob Chapek, um, that, um, and, and I believe that it's true, um, a lot of people in Asia are actually used to wearing face masks in crowded outdoor places, and they have been since a ways back uh, when they had the SARS epidemic and the bird flu and stuff like that. Um, and here in Orlando, with high heat and high humidity, wearing a mask, is going to be pretty difficult. Um, so, not only the difficulty of that, but will Americans actually do it? So they got Asians to go along with the plan, but it's part of their culture more already. And now they're going to see how Americans actually, or it's international, but it's a lot of Americans, the whole crew, the whole international crew at Disney does it at Disney Springs. <laughs> and then after... I think uh, they're going to wait till the 27th, then they're going to open up a little bit more of Disney Springs. From the 20th on, they're going to have maybe some sort of, but they're not exactly sure and they're not telling, uh, third-party operating participants, which are private companies that work with and through Disney. And then they're going to have places like, um, um, it's a... Uh, 
uh, World of Disney and a few other places open there. Um, I don't know if that's going to include Bippity Boppity Boutique. Um, I probably will be um, uh, the the Disney store. World of Disney, and then that other store, um, that Toy Story, um, that, that Toy Store right across from Earl of Sandwich. Um, and um, like I said, hey, what's up, Isabel? How's it going? What's going on? Have you made that decision yet? Shh. Um, Isabel is a good friend of mine. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to One Stop Mouse, please do so. Here on my beautiful porch right outside of the park. Actually, from where I'm sitting, there are, there are some trees about, eh, about 25 feet that way that line the back of my little yard. <laughs> Hi, Isabel. And they're about, eh, they're about 30 feet tall. And the Magic Kingdom, oh, Isabel has not made it, made that decision yet. Well, guess what, Isabel? You are very lucky and you're very blessed. It's a good it's a good place to be to actually have a choice. So, um, I am talking to um, a person named Isabel who's uh, uh, in some weird situations like a lot of us are now trying to figure out how to uh, make ends meet. Um, hello to all my friends out there. Um, hello to Team Lilo. How are you guys? Um, yeah, like I was saying, just above these trees right here in my backyard, you can actually see each night when the parks are open, the Magic Kingdom fireworks going off each night. And if I get a ladder and get up on my roof, you get a great view. It's amazing. And, you know, it takes me 25 minutes to get there. Um, I guess as the crow flies, we're pretty close. Closer closest to this location is actually closest to Animal Kingdom. Um, boy, sorry, I digress. Okay, so they've been experimenting from Disney Town to Shanghai, uh, Shanghai Disneyland to Disney Springs. Maggie, they've announced WOD, Deluxe Burger, and Co-op for the Disney Store. It's very good. For, okay, so um, Maggie, uh, World of Disney, is that going to be on the 27th then, I think? Because that's a Disney store. And the co-op would probably be on the 27th as well. Are those three things going to be on the 27th then? Or is Deluxe Bur Burger maybe on the 20th? Um, that'll be cool. Let me know, Maggie. Um, that is Maggie. She is an expert in all things Disney. She's uh, really got it going. And uh, if you have a question for me right now and I can't answer it, I will funnel it right now through Maggie and I will ask her. Um, keep holding down the fort, Maggie. Thanks for doing what you do. Um, Maggie is uh, a person who uh, works for Disney. She is a cast member working at home and actually if uh, you look in a few videos back, you will see a young woman with shoulder length um, uh, brown hair and she's working at home. And we like to tack at the end of a lot of our videos um, a little footage of a Disney cast member seeing See You Real Soon um, because we like to dedicate these videos to Disney cast members. Um, I just have not been out and about to get them. She actually sent me that footage. Uh, now, especially at this time, um, with the ride-out crew of Disney people, we really want to um, thank all the Disney cast members for all that they do. Um, we love you all. Thank you for holding down the fort, and um, we, uh, we appreciate you. Maggie, let's see. That's what they said in the email. Okay. All right. So... Um, World of Disney, like I was saying, and um, the Disney stores, and also uh, Deluxe Burger on the 27th. And then those other video, uh, other stores uh, that will open on the 20th are in that previous video that I did like two days ago. Um, Alright, so. Uh, uh, 
this is the big thing. This is what you really, really want to know. Deluxe is a Disney restaurant and be with the others on the 27th. Oh, okay, good. All right. Um, Deluxe Burger will be opening on the 27th with uh, the other Disney stores because that is actually a uh, Disney-run restaurant, which I did not know. All right, so these are things that you are going to want to know. Heads up, wake up, Bob, stop blabbling. Um, the details of what's going to happen when you get to Disney Springs. Um, for our cast members, operating participants, employees, and guests, there are six things that you're going to want to know before arriving at Disney Sp Springs, and they include... Um, there's going to be limited parking and reduced entrances. So take a breath. Please have some patience. Don't get frustrated. Uh, you know, this is, uh, I mean, they're just making this up as they go best that they can. And Disney's real creative and they work hard. I'm sure they're going to come up with something a lot better than I could come up with. There is going to be temperature screenings prior to entry. There's no details as to the temperature screenings to this. I know they've done some things at Shanghai where they have these little tents and a thermal camera. Um, I know, you know, they also have those uh, temperature guns that they can point at your forehead. I've also heard um, uh, different things. Um, let's see. It says right here, you're going to need to have, you have to, you cannot have a temperature of 100.4 or above, or you'll need to be rescreened. Um, face coverings will be required for everyone. Um, I haven't read down the list any further to see if you need to have your, this is stuff that just came out today, additional Disney Springs info. I don't know if you're going to have to bring your own face coverings or not. I've got a couple of masks, I've got surgical masks, uh, and I've got cloth covering masks, if it were me. Uh, and I'm not Mother Goose, I'm not that extra careful. Even if they were handing them out, I would still bring my own, just to be, you know, on the safe side, if I'm not gonna drive over there and then not be prepped. Um, there's gonna be physical distancing practices, including physically distanced cues and physical barriers trying to keep you several feet apart. Um, temporary operation modifications, including reduced hours at select locations and no scheduled entertainment offerings or high touch interactive areas. I noticed um, when I had initially seen that some of the locations were gonna be open and then a few days later, it didn't say that any of them were gonna be open. I think it was Earl of Sandwich, it was gonna be open um, like um, like nine something in the morning to nine something at night, so a little a little restricted, not open as late. So they're going to have uh, shorter hours, um, uh, no entertainment, uh, so nobody at that bandstand and and at the the tequila bar, nobody playing, I guess, um, um, and and they're gonna reduce high touch interactive areas. There's gonna be an increased focus on disinfecting and sanitation, including the addition of hand washing stations and hand sanitizers in key areas, which I think is the key to everything, actually. I don't know if you agree with me. Let me know right here. This is One Stop Mouse. Please subscribe. Um, if you are washing and sanitizing your hands, in between everything you do, I touch this camera, I wash or sanitize my hands. I eat, I wash and sanitize my hands. I take my mask off, I do something else, I touch something else, I buy some merchandise, I wash and sanitize my hands. If you do that continually, yes. Hey, Disinfinity, what's up? I am so sorry, Disinfinity. I've been thinking about you. I know that I told you that I was going to. I know it's months now, and I'm going to catch up with you guys and tell you how my life's adventure has been. But you, we were going to play tag with that what would you design for Disney type of thing. And in between that, uh, my life turned upside down, and everybody's life turns upside down because of 
because of COVID-19, but I intend to do a video about that. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I think that th one thing alone, washing and sanitizing your hands in between everything that you do, um, and the same thing when you when the theme parks open, when you get on rides, in between everything you do, in between everything you touch. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I continue to follow your channel, and uh, I'm back. <laughs> I have an interesting story. Um, I think that's the key, the whole washing and washing. Now, will people do that? Um, will people bump into you and everything at theme parks and at Disney Springs? Yeah, I, I mean, I almost know they will. I do. Just because they decrease the numbers of people in the parks doesn't mean that people aren't going to be distracted. There isn't going to be langu language barrier issues, so people don't understand when you're asking them to get out of the way or whatever. That people aren't overwhelmed and looking around and having a good time. And, you know, uh, this is not meant to be negative, but people are still going to run over your foot in the um, the ECV disabled vehicles um, just like they did when the parks were full and that's because accidents happen so you're just gonna have to wash your hands a lot wear the mask do the best you can this is an imperfect system okay um, <laughs> I am NOT a brain surgeon but I gotta tell you I've been around long enough to know and I know you know any of these other middle-aged guys out there um, uh, who have uh, um, vlogs um, know that life is not a science really it's an art you know it's a whole it's a it's a combination of errors and you just hope you get from the beginning of the day to the next and Disney's just gonna have to make this up best they can and I have faith in them actually they're very very creative wish none of this happened well Isbel I wish COVID-19 didn't happen, but I'm glad what happened in between them not seeing me and you meeting me happened. Um, so, okay, so what happened is I'm a Disney cast member now, but I'm furloughed. So, <laughs> so, so I stopped doing videos, um, met Isabel and Maggie and some other people who are Disney cast members and then I got furloughed, so my life turned around. I dropped doing all the videos for a few months, and then now I, I'm doing videos because I'm not doing that other stuff. Well, I'm gonna have a more well-balanced life, and I'm gonna continue, continue doing both of them from now on, because I miss this too much. Um, since many of these measures will be new and may evolve, like I said, we want to make sure that our guests, cast members, and operating participant employees are aware of all these changes. Guest parking and entrances. During this initial phase at Disney Springs, starting this Wednesday, the 20th, guests will be directed to self-park in the orange and lime garages. So they're going to point you just to those two garages. Um, the orange garage is the one all the way down on that end that when you come down the steps, the AMC Theater and World of Coke is right there. Um, the Lime Garage is a little further down. It's like midway down towards Earl of Sandwich. You come down the steps from the Lime Garage and the Polite Pig is right there. Um, all surface parking lots will be closed. At opening, we have also reduced guest entryways to four locations. Um, Orange and Lime garages along with the Hotel Plaza Boulevard pedestrian bridge and the rideshare location. Guest access to Disney Springs from the Grapefruit Garage will be restricted. The Grapefruit Garage is sort of an overflow parking area when I worked at Earl of Sandwich, um, and for anybody who works at Disney, uh, they are usually um, asked to park in the Grapefruit Garage. Um, so the Grapefruit Garage is out, only the lime and the orange, and let's see, temperature screenings, a little detail about that. 
All guests are required to undergo temperature screenings upon arrival at Disney Springs. Sorry, now now my next door neighbor is playing basketball, so basketball dog and AC. <clears throat> All guests are required to undergo temperature screenings upon arrival at Disney Springs. Um, during this initial period, guests will undergo temperature screenings in these locations. So you're going to have to get your temperature taken before you can go into Disney Springs on this Monday, May the 20th, and they would be the second floor exits of the Orange and Lime parking garages and the marketplace entrance to serve guests from the Hotel Plaza Boulevard pedestrian bridge and the rideshare drop-off drop lot. Based on guidance from health authorities, anyone displaying a temperature of 100.4 or above will be directed to an additional location to, for rescreening and assistance. Um, those with temperatures above 100.4 will not be allowed to enter. Those in their party will not be able to enter either. Um, Isabel says, I went to Bravo Supermarket the other day and they did a temperature screening. Really? Um, Isabel, when you went to the supermarket, what was the uh, temperature limit that you could have uh, before they denied you entrance into the supermarket? Here it's uh, Disney Springs, it's going to be 100.4 um, and they're going to have uh, a general area where you come in, like I said, um, near the Orange and Line parking garages and then if you flunk that temperature test, they take you to a secondary location and then you're never seen or heard from again. No, sorry. And then, and then, and then if um, you don't pass then you you can't get in interesting thing is the fine print here nobody else in your party can either oh 100.2 so it's even harder to get into isbel supermarket here in the orlando area um than it is to get into disney springs in a few days uh it's 100.2 it is bell supermarket 100.4 uh, it's going to be at disney springs um but if I and Isabel and Maggie were to go in a few days together to Disney Springs and I tested with a 100.5 temperature and we were going in together, um, they wouldn't let all three of us come in. The entire party can't come in, even if they were fine and had no temperature. Um, employee screening. Cast members and operating participant employees um, will be required to complete a health screening and temperature check at home prior to coming to work. All right, so let's check this out. Limited contact at Disney Springs starting this Wednesday. Following guidance from the government and the medical community regarding enhanced screening procedures and prevent prevention measures, we have made some temporary adjustments that include limited contact guest services to ensure a responsible and comfortable environment for everyone. All right, face coverings. All guests ages three and older. Cast members and operating participant employees are required to wear an appropriate face covering. Guests must bring their own face coverings and wear them at all times except when dining. So if I'm working at a roll of sandwich, um, I'm required to wear a face covering. I don't know if they're given that to the cast or not, uh, but you should see every single person working there wearing a mask, and you've got to wear one as well, and you've got to bring it with yourself. So, alert one more time. If you're planning on going to Disney Springs this Wednesday, when they open, you need to have a face covering, a surgical mask or a cloth mask, or they're not going to let you in. They're not going to give you one. You need to have one with you. Um, cashless transaction, oh, physical barriers. Physical barriers have been added in select places where it is difficult to maintain strict physical distancing guidelines. Uh, these may be visible in areas around cash registers or at guest relations, for example, to help ensure proper distances between people. Cashless transactions. 
At this time, it is recommended all guests use cashless or contactless payment options, such as credit cards, debit cards, Disney gift cards, Disney rewards cards, um, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, uh, I think those last three, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, um, Samsung Pay, where you just take this phone that I'm talking to right now and you just, you don't even have to touch it, you just get close to it and it pays. Um, guests may purchase a Disney gift card at select merchandise locations and uh, welcome centers, guest relations to pay without cash. Uh, physical distancing and capacity measures. Managing the number of guests visiting Disney Springs has been a major consideration as we implement physical distancing guidelines based on recommendations from health authorities and government officials. One of the ways to do that is to limit the number of guests and cast members at any given time for each location. Additional measures include signages. Directional signs have been installed to assist guests to responsibly move throughout Disney Springs. Additionally, markings on the ground will help promote proper physical distancing when queuing is needed at a location. Uh, it's weird. Uh, when I'm reading that, all of a sudden I'm flashing on how big that cluster of a line is to the right of Starbucks in the marketplace area of Disney Springs and I, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting any coffee there. <laughs> training. We are also training some of our cast members to engage with guests and promote physical distancing guidelines in common areas and queues. Before Disney Springs even opens this coming Wednesday, thank you cast members live long and prosper. Um, thank you for doing all this ahead of time. I know how hard it's gonna be. I know how people can be. I can see the, the comments on the Facebook pass, uh, annual pass holders uh, Facebook page already. Um, thank you for doing what you do and being the kind saintly people that you are. Enough said. Okay, cleanliness and sanitation. We've increased cleaning and sanitation um, and disinfection in high traffic areas such as public elevators and escalators, handrails, benches, tables, handles, restrooms, and more. Additionally, Disney Springs will open with hand sanitizer and hand washing locations and guests are highly encouraged to use these while visiting. Hold on one second. Let's see if we can get some light on me here. The sun is setting. Look at that. That's amazing. It's light. <laughs> um. Additionally, Disney Springs will open with hand sanitizer and hand washing locations and guests are highly encouraged to use these while visiting. Like I said, I believe that the key to so much of this, to Disney Springs and to the theme parks, the entire thing is just washing your hands an awful lot. Now, along with that, anybody who's worked in a hospital, for anybody who's worked in a hospital, it's, that's not a really big thing. They're used to wearing gloves, they're used to washing their hands a lot, they're used to not touching their face because if you're in a hospital environment and, you know, people have bad diseases and stuff, you're just used to doing that because it's work. Well, you're going to have to take this on as a job and you're just going to have to do this in this new world, at least for now. Um, excuse me, let me move this before I hit the rocking chair on this again. Um, one thing that you might want to do though is make sure that at least once at night try getting some real good thick hand lotion. Uh, they have generic hand lotions like at Walmart for diabetics. It's, it's really thick. It's somewhere between like lotion and butter and just put it all over your hands and just don't touch anything and let it soak in every night because you don't want to be doing all this hand washing and social distancing and then starting to get cracks in your fingers or on your cuticles and stuff because that's where the DCs can get in as well.
Cast training. We're further emphasizing our strong culture of health and safety among our cast members and operating participant employees and will continue to provide new training and reinforcement as we navigate through the reopening process. About these measures, as part of these efforts, guests may see other changes to our retail and dining offerings as well as other experience as well as other experiences. Though it may be different from the last time you visited, these new measures are designed to offer a magical Disney experience in a responsible way. They're trying to round off the edges there and basically prep you for the fact that they're doing everything they can, Disney, to keep it magical, although it's not, and it can't, obviously, in this day and age right now, be the same magical as it was, at least for a little while, at least until we make an adjustment. Um, remember, um, people don't tend to remember the past, um, and although it didn't affect everyday lives, in some ways, uh, for a while at least, at least for a few years after 9-11, it really did affect our lives. Um, in a lot of ways, especially if you lived in New York. Um, so um, we shall see. Um, we understand that these times are challenging and we appreciate everyone's patience and understanding as we navigate as responsibly as we can. Together we can find new ways to have fun while being diligent to maintain proper physical distancing. All right, did you get that? Okay. So, they've put a, you can keep checking the Disney Springs website, and I certainly would, um, before you go. Remember, you need a mask, um, and I would take hand sanitizer of my own with me. Um, but um, you can also go to the Walt Disney World website, and they will, con they continue to, they're not putting big revisions there. The revisions more or less have to do with subtle shifts in when you can make reservations. And that kind of tells you a little bit about what they're thinking may or may not be. Um, so um, let's see, the latest on that. For Walt Disney World guests who are interested in modifying their existing reservation, existing travel dates or making a new reservation for a future vacation, reservations are currently available for travel dates July 1st and later. So if you have a reservation and it's for June and you want to change it to another time, uh, you can't make it to for later in June you couldn't do it until at least July 1st and onward so you, you see see where they're going they've, they've, they've pushed it back a few times as they're trying to figure this all out as we previously shared unexpired multi-day theme park tickets with unused days or date specific theme park tickets with a valid use period beginning March 12th through the closure will automatically be extended to use any date through December 15th. So uh, that's already been discussed. Um, to provide additional flexibility, we are waiving Disney imposed changes and cancellation fees up to the date of check-in for reservations with arrivals through June 30th. As a reminder, most reservations can be modified or canceled online. If kids need further assistance, they can uh, reach us at the Disney Reservation Center through our online chat feature or by calling the reservation line. Um, annual passes. This is a truly unprecedented time for all of us. We want to thank you for your patience as we walk th work through the many details related to the temporary closure of the park. Um, there are a few ways in um, which you can deal with your annual pass. Um, if you've paid for it in full, um, you basically can get uh, the, um, the expiration date for your annual pass pushed back 
uh, i.e. if the parks were closed for two months, then they would take the expiration date of your pass and make it two dates late, two, two dates later. And there's some other scenarios too where you can, can get some refunds. Um, a lot of this stuff, uh, Disney's been doing a remarkable job. It's been quite an unprecedented, strange time and uh, so many details to work out with such a humongous, complicated system. I um, have to commend them for uh, uh, <laughs> keeping magic alive as well as they can. Um, well, if nobody's out there, uh, thanks for uh, commenting, Maggie and Isbel. I hope you guys have a good night, and I hope the rest of you do as well. I just wanted to post a little bit of an update to the video that I posted at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, about some of the procedures for going to Disney Springs. Uh, we still don't know what's going to open at Disney Springs, but we do know the information I just gave you, i.e. two parking garages are going to be opened up, all the staff, all the uh, cast and staff are going to have masks on and uh, they're going to be marking the ground and doing other things for social distancing. Um, but most importantly, don't leave your house to go to Disney Springs on Wednesday without having your own mask because they're not going to let you in. All right, this is Jones for One Stop Mouse. Please, if you have not subscribed to us, do so. Hit the little notification bell to be informed of upcoming back, back porch videos like this. And um, uh, come back and see us. Um, we'll see you real soon. Why? Because we like you. There you are.